trying something new at Islands of Adventure. Or maybe I shouldn't use the word new, but the phrase gently used. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here at Islands of Adventure. And in addition to that, we're gonna check out any other updates starting right now. It is a beautiful day here in Orlando. Currently 55 degrees with a high of 68 degrees. This is my perfect weather. Shorts and hoodie weather. Let's pause here for a quick talk about Islands of Adventure breakfast. I am on record saying I do not like the breakfast at the Three Broomsticks. It just doesn't taste good enough for the money that is spent. It's one of the more expensive breakfasts you can have here. But the Croissant Moon Bakery has a few different croissant breakfast sandwiches for $8.49 and a on-the-run continental breakfast for $9.99. Green Eggs and Ham is a good place for breakfast. The main ingredient or item that they use in all of the dishes here, tater tots. What are tater tots but hash browns shaped into a barrel form? So anything that has a hash brown is a good, a good option for breakfast. The Cinnabon is a good option for breakfast. Breakfast sandwiches ranging from like $5.79 to like uh, $6.29. And of course, you get cinnamon rolls here. But my favorite place for breakfast at Islands of Adventure, good old Starbucks. Tasty breakfast sandwiches and breakfast pastries and, well, it's like coffee. Of course, you're gonna get some coffee here with that breakfast. So 99% of the time when I'm here and in the mood for breakfast, Starbucks. Okay, let's head into Marvel Superhero Island and try that something new. Or should I say that something that is gently used. The Spider-Man ride recently swapped out their ride vehicles known as the Scoops. Let's give them a try. The wait time is listed at 20 minutes. Let's see how long it really takes. Some NQ entertainment. There is a model of the scoop. And here are our gently used scoops from Japan. Okay, I just got off of Spider-Man. Just a 12 minute wait, by the way. Did I notice anything different about my scoop? No, no I didn't. The Spider-Man ride in Universal Japan shut down. So supposedly those scoops are from Japan via Anaheim. By the way, the little photo kiosk where you could view your on-ride photos was here, but it's been moved. But now it's right here. They moved it closer to the exit of the ride. It is so easy to name my four favorite rides at Islands of Adventure, Velocicoaster, Hagrid's, The Hulk, and this ride here, Spider-Man. The Midway Games in between Marvel Island and Toon Lagoon, they have added some uh, Christmas prizes to win. The balloon popping game has this penguin dressed as a Christmas tree. We've seen this before though. But still, some Halloween related prizes. Top Glow has a Hello Kitty in a Christmas tree looking dress that you can win. And not Christmas related, but I thought you would like to know some very large Care Bear plushes to win. Moving on to Toon Lagoon. Here at the Flash Gordon entrance to the main store, the prediction I made months and months ago about the Flash Gordon rocket ship never returning appears to be true. I don't think they're gonna bring that thing back. They used to have a rocket here with a cooling mist. Well, they took it away. I think we've seen the last of it. It is 11 a.m. It is 57 degrees. I don't think this is going to be a high demand for Popeyes and Bluto's barges. The sign says a 10 minute wait. It should say at least five or probably should say ride now. The Slurp and Snack are L to the Chief here in Toon Lagoon. They've added a couple of tables here. These tables were, I think, by uh, Kathy's Ice Cream Shop. Ripsaw Falls is still closed. I think when they reopen the ride and they take down these construction walls, those tables will move back to Kathy's. Did you know that Thunder Falls has a soup? They have a chicken bouillon soup. 
the only other place I can think of that has a soup is Finnegan's. It has a potato and leek soup, but here at Thunder Falls, chicken soup. A cooler day like today, a nice delicious hot soup would be a good option. I talked about breakfast earlier in the video. Across the way from the entrance to the River Adventure is Natural Selections. They have a guava and cheese pastry that's not too bad. Priced under seven bucks. And speaking of the River Adventure, it's only a five minute wait. Because it's cool today, this gets you a little wet. In fact, the dad beside me telling his kids, oh, I don't know, gets you pretty wet. Not worth it. I don't think these guys got too wet though. You know, with the rafts not being full, they're not so heavy, so they're not gonna make that big of a splash. If you get a middle row and a middle seat, you really won't get too wet on it. But I didn't tell that dad that. Over here by the Pizza Predatoria, the construction walls seem as if you can't get to the restrooms that are over there, but in fact, you still can. At this time of year, with the nice weather, Eat at the burger digs, but don't eat inside. Take your food to the balcony patio. It offers a great view. During the summertime here in Central Florida, maybe you want to be inside with air conditioning, but during the winter months, outside dining is a great option. And the views are spectacular. If you ever wondered what the wait time was for the Velocicoaster, on December 3rd at 11.30 a.m. is 25 minutes. The Tri-Wizard Pep Rally is about to happen. Unfortunately, the music is copyrighted. But if you're here in person, please take the time to enjoy it. The listed wait time for Hagrid's is 65 minutes. Though, just like the Spider-Man ride, the wait time might be shorter than the listed time. Normally in Hogsmeade, you can only get a hot butter beer inside of the three room six or inside of Hogshead there. But Universal has smartly put a hot butter beer cart out in the village. Don't look for it to be there in the summertime though. I need to pop into this store in the Lost Continent and buy a Christmas gift. My daughter Courtney is more of a Halloween girl than a Christmas girl. So this would be the perfect Christmas shirt for her, or Halloween shirt. I'm thinking Christmas though, $37. I got it. I think I saved like $4 with my pass holder discount. You guys know why I haven't stopped by the Mystic Fountain lately? I've been taking him for granted. As we head into Seuss Landing, do you know what the longest wait time in the park is? If you say Hagrid's, you are wrong. Most of the time, the longest wait time is to meet the Grinch. But of course, that's only seasonal. And at the moment, the wait time to meet the Grinch is nearly twice as long as Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Last week during a live stream, we saw the wait time for the Grinch at 300 minutes, which is five hours. If you're new to Islands of Adventure this time of year, and you're interested in seeing the Grinchmas show, it is in Seuss Landing, right next to the Circus McGurkis. Right this way is the entrance for the show. Why doesn't the Grinch like knock-knock jokes? Because there's a who there. Oh, oh that's good. A lot of you saw the Universal Studios update video that I did a few days ago. Some of you did not. If you didn't, keep watching. What's this talk of a new roller coaster coming to studios? Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here at Universal Studios Florida, and we're gonna talk about that roller coaster rumor and more updates starting right now. 
Since the last update video, Universal has added the Holiday Medallion out front, as well as the big Macy's balloon, and the park is full of holiday music, which is why I can't live stream here anymore this year. I did, however, live stream here opening night of the Macy's Parade. If you haven't seen that, I will leave a link to it in the description box and probably like the end card at the end of this video. Let's not waste any time and get to that roller coaster rumor. Earlier this year, we told you about the rumor that Rip Ride Rocket was going to be replaced or torn down in 2025. Well, last week on Twitter X, Alicia Stellanova informed us that a permit, a work permit, has been filed for here. And now, the internet is abuzz that Rip Ride Rocket will be replaced with an Intamin launch coaster. All of this, of course, other than the work permit, that's real, is rumor. Universal has not said anything about it, so we'll see how it all plays out. I, for one, don't tend to get too worked up over rumors anymore as, you know, the truth is always revealed in time. Today is the day before Thanksgiving and I've been here several times this week already and it has been an elevated crowd. Thanksgiving week, one of the busier weeks of the year. There's Marilyn rolling down Hollywood Boulevard. Good to see you, Marilyn. One holiday thing Universal is doing this season can be seen inside of the Five and Dime and other places, but I'll show you here since we are here. There is a Nutcracker scavenger hunt here in the Five and Dime. We have a Gill Man, a creature from the Black Lagoon Nutcracker, and behind him, Frankenstein's monster Nutcracker says here to see a team member to purchase your map and ornament to begin. I have found my team member to ask about the scavenger hunt. Okay, the scavenger hunt is $14. Oh, that's not much. 14 bucks. $14.91. Mm-hmm. And it does include the ornament with it. Yeah. And what you're actually going to do at the different locations that's participating. Okay. Like this is number seven. Okay, we're at number seven now. Number seven. Those are some good looking nutcrackers there, yes. by the way. And the whole the clue is here. Ah. The clue is there for solving the mystery. You gotta solve the mystery, you guys. Read that clue? <laughs> it says the first letter and each one all the rhyme. You're gonna put it in that location number. Oh. So this location is number seven. If you looked at it there, that the first letter will be A for number seven. How fun! And it just, that solves the mystery. And you get some good pictures of some awesome looking nutcrackers. Yes, you do. Beautiful. And pass holders, they still have your specialty magnets. I picked mine up the other day at uh, Toon Lagoon, but they're here at the Five and Dime too. And it looks like I'm going to have good timing today, as it looks like they're setting up for Marilyn and the Diamond Bellows, which this time of year, they wear special holiday outfits and sing a holiday set of songs. It's always a hot set when Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas are around. And as they set up, the weather is a little more mild today, but still warm in the sun. So we're going to find a seat over here in the shade until Marilyn arrives. I'm going to show you just a few highlights of this Christmas show by Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas. I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney At this time of year, they're not the Diamond Bellas, they're the Jingle Bellas. Here in Central Park, the sensational Fountain and Drone Show has returned on select nights. I have to say that when you're visiting, just check the app to make sure it's happening on the night you're visiting. But since it's returned, they have added a new section, a new Princess Peach section of the drones. 
They have a deal with the Coke Freestyle Holiday Cups here at Universal Orlando. Buy two, get one free. There is a little something new inside of DreamWorks Land. It's a new Gingy cookie for $6.99. You know what I'm eating first? The buttons, the gumdrop buttons. So how is it tasting? It tastes on par with what you would expect from a gingerbread cookie. There's only one thing I want to find out in Springfield today. And that is, is the Oktoberfest beer still available? And as we can see, yes, yes it is. But I would also like to note, the Duff Man statue has not returned, nor has the mill house that sits on the bench over here. The twirl and hurl, ghost riders apparently. A few little Christmas prizes have made their way over here to the Midway Games in Krusty Land. Here's an example of one. The Coke Refreshment Center here near MIB is still closed, but they have decorated it for the holidays. Inside of the MIB gear shop, here is a look at a couple of more nutcrackers. MIB style. Here's the alien looking one. Here's the NC MIB. And here's a merchandising item I don't recall seeing before. A Back to the Future out of time denim jacket. That's the back. I'll show you the front right there. But this is a cool $100. Alien Attack still closed. We do expect a mid-December reopening. Looking across the way at Rip Ride Rocket there makes me think Studios does need another big thrill ride and I'm not counting the replacement of Rip Ride Rocket as that additional ride. They need to replace that and then also add another thrill ride. You know what? Today doesn't feel as crowded as it has been earlier in the week. Let's go check on the wait time for Gringotts. Well, you know what? A 75 minute wait for Gringotts says it is a busy day. Over here at the exit to Fast and Furious, Murph still has not returned that red Corvette. Over here at the Shark Bar, I am really pushing the fact that they do open early between 9.30 and 10, depending on the bartender, and the fact they do have mimosas and uh, what's Bloody Marys. Yeah, that's what they have here. Now, if any of you are familiar with Vincent, who works over here at Shea Alcatraz, he will be moving over to Epic Universe at Bar Moonshine. So if you're lucky enough to go to Epic Universe, check out Vincent over at that bar. I don't think they've released concept art on that bar yet, but we do know it's more like a, like a speakeasy type of environment. Finnegan's Bar and Grill made a change to one of my favorite dishes. I showed the change they made to the fish and chips in a live stream a few weeks back, but I don't think I've mentioned it on a video. So they changed the fish in the fish and chips to be like more traditional. In the past, it was like two or three long skinny strips of fish. Now it's one large piece of fish. Uh, the beer batter is the same, but they made that one change it's still a very awesome dish. I think I preferred the smaller one a little more, basically because I enjoyed the batter so much. And I felt like I got more batter with the two smaller ones than I do with the big one. But the big piece of fish, it is still awesome. It is still one of my favorite dishes. Just wanted to let you guys who do not watch the live streams be made aware of that one change to the fish and chips. For those of you wondering where Earl the Squirrel is this year in the Christmas tree, he is right here in this hole. Let's zoom in and see if he's going to come out. Well, he's not coming out, but I can see him in there. I don't know if uh, I can zoom in enough to show you guys though. Trust me, 
he's there. And that will do it for now. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. See you next time. It's gonna be a good day, good day. Making Nikki show the way. It's gonna be a good day.